Hello my friends, this is Moogle Master 102 and welcome back to another episode of Fairy Fencer F. Today, we're going to go to the Soul Plains, but first we're going to go to Tomoe's shop, because I want to see what's up. Just, just because. Welcome! We have the latest for your adventuring needs, whether it's medicine, armor, or clothing. We stock it all. Our prices can't be beat. If you got items you don't need anymore, we'll buy those off you too. <clears throat> so, yep, you heard the woman. You got plenty of things to buy from her. So, we'll do just that. Actually, we don't really need much. Because <laughs> we actually kind of have plenty of healing potions for now. It's for armor, though? Oh, boy. My voice cracked a little bit. I apologize. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, I could up your physical armor. This one, I can up your magic damage and your magic defense, but I don't know if we would ever need that. So I'm probably gonna get this just, just, just for the kind of, just, <coughs> just because I need to have more defense. Uh... Oh, here we are. I was gonna say, can I equip stuff and uh, have a weapon here? Yeah, yeah. I know I play an RPG. Duh. So I'll equip this. And we're good for now. Alright. So now let's go to <coughs> Gilmore's shop. Or, sorry. <coughs> Gilmore's pub. So we're gonna go to the bar. Get the drinks. Welcome. Oh, you must be the new fencer. Adventurers of all types visit this pub. So you might learn something useful some useful information for your travels. There might be even something I can assist you with, so please speak with, speak to us freely. So we can talk to him. Uh, there's there's people here, but um, I'm not going to bother with that for now. Actually, you do get some extra stuff if you do talk with them. Not that it really does matter. What do you fight for? And what do you live for? Huh? I never think about that kind of crap. I just do what I feel like doing. I understand. You act all tough, but you're not really holding on to a deep sorrow. Man, you must be wasted. Huh. Quit clicking... Quit clinging to me. It's annoying. So, yeah. Fang's pretty aggressive. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here and stop dilly-dallying here in Zelvin's. Let's just go to our next destination. <clears throat> and we got Aaron talking to us about the world map. We will learn more about the world map later on because there's actually something... Yeah, if you leave the world map you do heal up in that, so it's kind of like a uh, hyper dimension up to game, so if you leave the map you will fully heal. So it's really useful, and there's going to be something later on we're going to learn about, So, but I won't spoil it now because <laughs> we don't have it yet. So yeah, let's just go to Soul Plains, and there's probably going to be a cutscene coming up, so uh, I'll just go on with that. tutorials as you can tell but this is the beginning of the game so yeah in dungeons you can battle enemies and find useful items so yeah pretty much the same premise I mean, I'm just gonna keep sorry about that I uh, had a little bit of a coughing attack there anyway um, so dungeon actions so this is, I'm just gonna keep reverting back to hyperdimension Neptunia because it's practically the same engine uh, but yeah about encounters, uh, if you attack the enemy before it attacks you, you basically get a preemptive strike, and if you get hit by the enemies, you're gonna get ambushed, which is not a pleasant thing, because some enemies are pretty damn beefy in this, so you don't want to do that. And we know about the escaping, 
Thank you, game. I appreciate your helping me trying to get yes. through this. I, I appreciate you helping me get through this, not your uh, fucking grammar. Apparently I speak bad grammar too. Anyway, so we'll attack the enemy here. Just the usual thing, look at that, preemptive strike, on a B. Who would've known? Who would've known? Anyway, we'll just do a normal attack. Oh wow, that actually didn't do as much as I thought it was going to. Probably because we actually upgraded our armor. Yeah! <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm, I'm not all that worried. So, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's not... I tried to play this, like... Hyperdimension up to new redo the search, but, uh... I don't have that in this game. <laughs> maybe, maybe I am, uh, a little too obsessed with the game, uh, the series a little bit when I'm playing this. It just resembles too much, you know? Let's see if I can get both of them with this. Come on! Can I get both of them? I know I can. I just need to position myself. Yeah, screw it. No point wasting SP anyway. The enemies don't hurt that much, so. Well, here's a good time to do it. Executing shooting slash. There we go. <clears throat> bye bye. Perfect. This is what I always needed. And there's a bird over here that we can... I was gonna say, that there's a bird that we can hit. <laughs> and I uh, ended up getting hit by the bird. Also, stat gain. You get stat gain for um, just moving around and stuff, which is really nice. So it is like... Uh, do I have to reference Hyper Dimension Neptunia again? Because we kind of... Uh, kind of already... Came to the conclusion that's exactly what the game is. It's pretty much just running on that engine. But other than that, you gain stats if you walk, if you jump enough. Actually, speaking of which, oh yeah, we leveled up. Nice. Sweet. But anyway, you gain stats if you walk around enough, if you jump a lot, if you attack a lot. Actually, if you jump like 10 times, you get uh, your stats up here. So let me do that. There we go. See? If you jump a lot and you run around and attack a lot, basically, if you do specific things, you increase your stats. So if you uh, haven't done that, you should do yourselves a favor because it actually does help significantly. There we go. Killed the bee. I'm running low on health a little bit, aren't I? Yeah. I'm gonna use a potion here. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> Is there any more enemies I can kill? Nope. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next area. Wait a minute, this is the exit. I just went backwards. What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't mean that. Alright. Oh, shit. Well, the good thing is, if you get uh, ambushed by enemies enough, too, you get your stats up, too. So, that was nice. Wing flap. You know what? Wing flap this. Oh, wow, shit. He lived with one health. Yeah, we'll learn about the something else later on. I was like, we leveled up. I wonder if I can do something with that. No, no, not yet. There's another enemy here, which is kind of strong. I'm hoping that I don't get messed up. So I'm going to try and... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. No. Oh, we don't have our tension up to do it. Okay, never mind. We'll just do this. This guy kind of... Uh, it can be a problem, but not that much of a problem. He's just a lot stronger, as you can tell on the mini-map. Uh, the colors kind of... Uh, like, the colors of the dots, they... Basically, if they're lighter, um, like that yellow, they're basically just stronger enemies. So you want to be careful sometimes, because uh, it's hit and miss, and we got ambushed. It's not good. Also, keep in mind, when you do level up, you, uh, <clears throat> you do actually uh, g uh, get all your health and your SP back. So, keep that in mind. You pretty much heal up. So, t use that to your advantage. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and do Shooting Slash. Your usual thing. Kill the enemies. And then move on. There we go. User said than done. I could actually go for another level up. But, that's not for a while. So, we can just kill all the enemies here and, uh... 
Vaughn, because there's actually. Oh, well. Oh. We went ahead and uh, got smacked by an enemy, which is perfectly fine. As long as you don't get smoked to our death. Let's do this. You. Oh my god! How would you live? Shit. I crit there, but. This isn't good. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna clutch this. Come on. There we go. Alright. Never doing that again. I'm not taking any risks like that anymore. Right. Heal up a thousand there. There we go. And we'll kill this guy. There we go. Uh, what am I gonna do? Well, I'll just do this. Just normally attack him. I'm not gonna waste my SP. Though I really wish I had more damage. <laughs> But, I mean, we are only one person, so... I apologize to you that in the background. Some guy is, uh, kind of mowing the lawn a little bit, so... Hopefully my microphone doesn't pick that up. Usually I pick some bad times to record, but I have my windows closed, so it should isolate the noise, kind of, a little bit. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go to our next area. Uh, we have... Okay, so 21 EXP. So not for a while. Let's just continue going through. Oh, there's an event here, so uh, I'll have to shut up for this after we kill. Come on, can I get close enough so it doesn't initiate, engage the event yet? Okay, that's perfect. Voila! Eh, you know what, we'll just kill me. I'm not gonna waste my SP. Yeah, um, also, for people asking, I am gonna cut out certain battles and stuff, but this, this, since this is the first part, I kinda wanted to, like, Bring it on a little, I don't want to make it like super, super short. You actually got quite a bit of experience there, holy crap. Well anyway, let's go ahead and do the event. Is that it? That thing launched over there. That has to be the Fury. Jeez, you're working me to the bone. Let's just hurry up and pull it out so we can get out of here already. Wait, hold on. Something smells yummy. Oh, that looks tasty! Hey, Fang! What about the Fury? The Fury? Weary traveler, you must be exhausted. I have just brewed some chamomile tea. You are welcome to partake of it with me. Sweet! That's awful kind of you. This is clearly suspicious! My body... I can't move. Was that paralytic tea? Jeez, Fang! Come on! I told you this was suspicious! Who the hell are you? Oh my, not one word of gratitude after I just served you some delicious tea? How rude. Well, it matters not. My name is Tiara, and this is my fairy partner, Kiwi. You still have much to learn about being a fencer if you fell for such a cliché trick. You have learned a valuable lesson, yes? As a token of your gratitude, I shall accept this fury on your behalf. Hold on! That's just downright dirty! Surely you just, for I am squeaky clean. Now then, drink. What the heck is it? More poison? No, it's an antidote. I cannot bear the thought of leaving you in this state. If you consume this, you'll be able to move in roughly five minutes. During those five minutes, I shall take my leave of you. I thought you were being kind for a second, but you're really just a low-down, dirty trickster. The only dirty thing here is your face. Your fairy friend has quite a shameful face, too. Hmm. I suppose you two are meant to be. Tell me about it. She's got a really foul mouth, too. Oh my. It seems we're getting along rather swimmingly. Now's not the time for you two to get along! You're right. Hey, you stuck-up bitch! 
You've got a real crappy attitude. You better watch your back from now on. How can you say something so dreadful? The item I was after, I shall take my leave of you. Good day. Hey! Wait! Hold on! Fang, get it together! We need to go after her! My body's still paralyzed. I can't move. Well, uh, yeah. So, although it technically, um, our body, like, supposedly is paralyzed, and we're moving just fine for a paralyzed body, huh? Let's go. Well, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and kill off the enemies. Uh, I do... <coughs> I do actually... <coughs> I do actually want to level up before we do go to our next area, so I'm gonna just do that. We don't, uh, we level up in a little bit, so it's always gonna be nice. I should turn down my TV a little bit, so you guys don't hear that. Oh wow, there's a lot of strong enemies here, I just noticed that. Well, we can kill these guys easily. <laughs> I was actually kind of uh, intimidated by them a little bit, so... But, they're not so bad now. So I'll kill these guys. Well, uh, bam. Killed. And we get plenty of experience. And we level up, oh, we level up in the uh, next fight. So wasting our EXP doesn't really matter all that much, does it? Oh, god damn it. Sever that. So, we'll just do this. Fly through the battle, no problem. I would skip this, but I love this animation. There we go. Bam. Golem! And we leveled up. We're now level 3. Yeah. Look at that stat game, though. Our HP went up by 100. Our damage went up by... Uh, did our... Our damage went up by 9. That's insane. I'm probably not doing my math correctly, but I'm... Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, that's really weird. I thought my, um... I thought my, my SP and my HP heal up when I level up. I guess it doesn't. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Alright. I'm just gonna have to put an annotation when I acknowledge that. Eh. Oh well, it happens. Mistakes happen. I was so used to playing Hyper Dimension Neptunia that I figured it would borrow that idea from uh, the the original, like from from the game itself. But I guess it didn't. Probably just because the game would be way too easy. Other than that, this game is still kind of uh, easy, but it's not like super. It's not super hard. It's kind of like in the modern. And anyway, we got an event here, so let's do that. <coughs> oh my, who are you? <laughs> I'm a low-level hoodlum. It's customary to encounter someone like me at this point. Now shut up and hand over that fury! How droll. I have nothing to give to someone as boring and uninspired as you. Tch, but I guess I gotta use force to claim my prize. I may as well snag you while I'm at it, too. <laughs> I can't wait to see that cute face of yours after it's soaked with tears. I want to see that, too. to pursue me, hey, was it? I understand. You've come to shower me with love. <laughs> you certainly are an adorable boy. That's not why. Are you this woman's ally? Nope. Yes, that is correct. This is my loyal servant. Oh, Fang, this bothersome rogue is attempting to force himself upon me. Could you be a dear and assist me? Who the heck is gonna help you? <laughs> so you're also a fencer, huh? Good timing. Hand over your fury, too. Uh -huh. Damn. I wish I'd got 
Everyone's choice now. This is friggin' annoying. <laughs> well, <clears throat> this guy's fast, <laughs> but not as fast as me. Anyway, oh wow, holy shit. My attack missed there. That was interesting. So he does have a lot of evasion, I notice. But yeah, uh, this is our... This is, I guess, one of our temporary boss fights, if you want to call it. Uh, I'm just going to have suiting, suiting slash. Shooting slash. Do this. Look at that damage. All you have to do now is just attack him. Because he's not going to do much otherwise. Bam. Game over. Alright. Good work, Fang. You are quite strong. Huh? Huh? Oh my, is there something wrong? Yeah, I'm just surprised. I totally pegged you for someone who'd run away while we were fighting. I completely agree. There is no way I would do something so uncouth. At any rate, I have an idea that will make you both exceedingly happy. I shall let both of you become my servants. How does that sound? Isn't this wonderful? This makes you happy, right? Huh? I feel much safer traveling with skilled individuals like yourselves. When a helpless, beautiful maiden such as myself travels alone, I am often accosted by all sorts of brigands. Why, you selfish little... Why should we team up with you in the first place? Oh my... This would be beneficial for you, too, as well. Having more people in your party during combat is advantageous, right? Additionally, a relative of mine manages a nearby inn, so I can also provide you with a place to rest for the night. Give me a break! Why should we travel with an underhanded, conniving, two-faced? Does that inn have tasty food? Certainly. I heard that they acquired a chef from a five-star restaurant. All right, let's team up. You're just saying that for the food, aren't you? No, that's not the only reason. She's right. Battles will be way easier if there's three of us. It'll be easier to collect the Furies, too. You better not make her collect the Furies while you slack off. Anyway, take me to that inn of yours. I want to know what five-star food tastes like. Yes, please follow me. Hey, wait a sec! So we got Tierra in our party. Nice. And we got a new Fury. Pretty fucking sweet. So, uh, we're, we're gonna be learning more about this a little bit later on. And, of course, party switching. That is not too much of an issue for me, because considering I usually... Oh, here we are, the, the weapon boost. We'll, uh, we'll be taking advantage of that. For sure. But yeah, anyway. We will be doing... A lot of stuff in this, for sure. Oh, got a meanwhile up. I don't care what happens to me. Just spare my grandchild's life, please. Grandpa! Shut up! If you keep laughing, I'll kill you with one blow. If you want to save yourselves, hurry up and fork over all your stuff. Leave that kid with us, too. Don't worry. We're not gonna kill her. We'll make sure we get a good price for her. After we've had some fun with her first. <sighs> no! Whoa! What the heck? Oh, crap! A sandstorm! Pardon me. You seem to be in some trouble. Huh? You're... Who the hell are you? Where do you come from? Why are you here? What would you like to know about me? My name? My way of life? Or perhaps, my prowess with the sword? <laughs> my name is Sherman. Not that it matters to the dead. Sherman, any force has received additional reinforcements. What's going on here? My loyal minions! They're... Why, you... I won't forgive this! I see. 
You wish to follow them into the afterlife. This will not be pleasant for you. Ryushin, release your full power and prepare for assembly. Negation. Any strength in that is for its assembly. Probability of victory at your current power level is 100%. I would prefer to hold nothing back when facing my enemy. But in this case, I'll make an exception. You bastard! I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but no one makes a fool out of me! I'll cut you to pieces! Your prognosis was correct, Rouge. Now then, are you injured, sir? I'm fine. Thank you very much for saving us. Thank you, mister. I only did what I must. I bid you safe travel. Have a wonderful day. Now then, let's go, Rouge. You must be an angel. All right. How fortunate. Cool. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Fairy Fencer F. Where we will go ahead and go back to Zillans and see what <laughs> see what is up back in the end. For now, and see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'm off. Peace out.